Jeremiah chapter 45, a message to Barak. Um, this is what, the, what Jeremiah the prophet told Barak, son of Neri, in the fourth year of Jehoiakim, son of Josiah, king of Judah, after Barak had written on a scroll the words Jeremiah was then dictating. This is what the Lord, the God of Israel, says to you, Barak. You said, woe to me, the Lord has added me, or the Lord has added sorrow to my pain. I am worn out with groaning and find no rest. The Lord said, this, say this to him. This is what the Lord says. I will overthrow what I have built and uproot what I have planted throughout the land. Should you then see great things for yourself? Seek them not, for I will bring disaster on all people, declares the Lord. But wherever you go, I will let you escape with your life. Wow. Listen to, okay, so here is Barak. He is, along with Jeremiah, um, <clears throat> worshiping the Lord, doing, feeling like he's doing what the Lord, what the, what the Lord is telling him to do. He's fulfilling that, those obligations, those things that he feels are obligations, those things that he is, feels like he is tasked to do in his life. And yet he's going, he's seeing these consequences. He's suffering through these consequences. He's being mistreated, you know, uh, he's, uh, death threats, just like Jeremiah. And so he's upset and he's like, I'm doing all these things for you. And I truly believe you, but listen, he says, you said, woe to me. The Lord has added sorrow to my pain. I am worn out with groaning and find no rest. So this is what the Lord says. I have planted or, um, this is what the Lord, I will overthrow what I have built and uproot what I have planted throughout the land. Should you then seek great things for yourself? Seek them not, for I will bring disaster on all people, declares the Lord. But wherever you go, I will let you escape with your life. So he's saying, this is not the appropriate time. This is not the time. This is not the time to seek your vineyard to, to, to go to. <laughs> this is not the time because right now these people are making decisions over and it's the whole land. It's all the nations. All these people, the, these people are making nations disastrous um, plans and disastrous uh, choices. And so what is happening is not going to go well. And nothing is going to go well at this point, at this time. However, things will go well with you. Continue to lean on me. Continue to follow my guidance. He's saying, wherever you go, I will let you escape with your life. He's making sure, he's confirming that the Lord hears him. The Lord sees him. He, he knows what's going on. And the Lord understands, and the Lord is there for him. He is the good shepherd. Remember, all these things are happening. People are starving to death at this point. But yet, Barak and Jeremiah are still day to day being able to have food, being able to continue to live, continue to have and, and continue their walk with the Lord and continue to um, grow in their relationship with the Lord. And so understand that it is a relationship with the Lord. It is a walk with the Lord. And when you have a relationship, when you have a relationship with someone, is it that you never get in an argument? Is it never that you un completely understand why? Is it that you never have those low times? The Lord always wants what's best for you, but we sometimes, we can't, we can't see the full picture. So when we can't see that, we get frustrated, we get angry because we don't understand what's going on. And we don't, we don't know to continue. Like we, it's all of a sudden, like we turn a switch, like, uh, uh, I can, I need, I can, I need to figure it out myself. <sighs> what was the difference from previously relying on the Lord to, whatever situation it is now in relying on the, the Lord. 
There is no difference. It's just our thoughts. It's just our feelings. It's just what we choose sometimes. Before we go on, what kind of thoughts or feelings come to your mind when we read over this? How does it make you feel and what does it make you think? 